Okay, this is a little YouTube video I'm putting together uh, just to show my rig, uh, ham radio rig here in my car. And uh, so to start with, I'm going to start off with the fact that I have a D-Star radio uh, that can do analog and digital. Um, and I've set it up so that I have a mobile hotspot in the car. Uh, now what I've done for that, so I can connect to any reflector or any repeater at any time, anytime I want to, uh, on the road or, uh, you know, stationary like I am right at the moment. Uh, I have set up a mobile hotspot, uh, a D-Star hotspot with a DVAP. A two meter DVAP and um, a Raspberry Pi and an AT&T 4G uh, Wi-Fi hotspot. So um, let me show you that real quick. And I have that here in my center console, and I cover it up with my armrest. So here's my AT&T hotspot. It's plugged into an outlet that uh, keeps it charged up. It uses very little uh, electricity, so I don't have to worry about the battery running down. And here's the Raspberry Pi and the 2 meter DVAP inside. And so I just lay that in there like that and put my cable in like so. And it's out of sight. I don't have to worry about that. Now, so I'll demonstrate that. And right now, I'm on information. And if I key up, not linked. It says I'm not linked. Okay, so if I want to link to one of the reflectors, let's say uh, 30 Charlie, that's a fairly busy one. Let's see if anybody's on there. By the way, I'm using the microphone to change the channels on the radio, uh, which is really just uh, the codes that it's going to send across the, the DVAP. So 30 Charlie. And then with D Star, you just key up. And it'll link. Link to R E F zero three zero Charlie. Seven Julia Whiskey Charlie in Rainier, Oregon. Hello. So, so that station's in Oregon. Now, if you want to talk, of course, you go back to the yes, standard. This is November four in Fort W H in Shelby, talk. North Carolina, about thirty miles uh, west of Charlotte. And the name is Bill. Now you can use the knob. I'm calling in here, Shane, and I'm about 50 miles west of Portland, Oregon, uh, on an overcast day with a slight breeze and a little bit of sunshine here and there. Uh, how are you doing this fine day? Are you uh, having a safe, uh, safe day on your travels out there? Oh, yes. Uh, we're having a safe day. and just had a family gathering for Mother's Day uh, for my daughter. Uh, my wife's deceased, so we all get together and have a Mother's Day with her and her kids. My grandkids and great grandkids. Beautiful day here. We're about 78, 80 degrees, sun shining. Just a little bit of cloudiness coming from the uh, hurricane that's down off the coast of uh, North Carolina. But uh, it's not a real bad hurricane. KD7, JWC, I believe, November 4, Whiskey Hotel. Yeah, you got the call sign right, my friend. The name here is Shane, and uh, it's good to talk to you. Um, I still have my mom. Uh, uh, I'm 46, and uh, I don't have a wife anymore, but I do have kids. I have actually... Uh, three daughters and a son. Uh, my youngest daughter is eight and my oldest daughter is 23 and my son's stuck right in the middle of all of them. He, uh, he gets 
So one of those stations is in Oregon, and I'm in Austin, Texas, and like I say, I'm not connected to any repeater at the moment. I'm using the DVAP in the car with the Raspberry Pi to create a, a, a hotspot into the D-Star network. Do my famous barbecue for her, as she calls it. Uh, it's just decent food, but uh, anyway. Now, I have a D-Star Handy Talkie mom, uh, thankfully, uh, that I use in the house enjoy. or at work uh, sometimes. I'm using a, and I have a second DVAP and uh, Raspberry Pi that I can hook up at home uh, to the Wi-Fi uh, really or at work me. and it allows me to do the same thing I'm doing right now in the car. I also have a uh, Moto Turbo. Uh, here in Austin, I have it currently on North America and scanning. Uh, Moto Turbo really surprises me. I've been involved in it now for about a week. And um, the audio quality that comes out of this radio is just tremendous. Let me turn this down a little bit. And uh, so uh, the audio quality out of the Moto Turbo radio is just tremendous. And the coverage is crazy good. Uh, in the Austin area, I'm getting 50 miles or so outside of town, and I'm still able to make um, connections with the repeater and crystal clear audio, just like the person was sitting next to me, right here in the seat next to me. Um, anyhow, that's my setup. Let's see if I can demonstrate the Moto Turbo for you. I'm going to turn this down for a second, and I'll take it off a of scan. Let's see what my volume is. Okay, that should be good. KB5YZD, Austin, Texas on North America. VE3, SPQ, Toronto, Canada on North America. I'm sorry, I didn't catch the whole call or the name. Was it Charles? Where are you located, Charles? This is William, KB5YZD in Austin, Texas. Good afternoon, sir. How are you? Well, it's actually Steve, uh, Wayne in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. VE3SBU. All right, VE3SBQ, uh, I think you said uh, Ontario, Canada, is that correct? Yes, sir, it is. Uh, in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Well, how are things going in Ontario today? Uh, the weather here in Austin is bright and sunny. Uh, very enjoyable. I'm out in the car right now playing with the radios and... Uh, just thought I'd key up and say hello to somebody. Well, it's sunny, hot, muggy. Uh, we are actually, I think we're... Sorry, I think, uh, I think we are under a... Um, severe weather warning up here right now. Oh, well, sorry to hear that. I hope everything works out for you uh, and that you have uh, decent weather coming to you. Uh, but anyhow, I appreciate the uh, the comeback. Uh, how long have you been in the uh, Moto Turbo or DMR radio business? Just got my. Well, tomorrow will be a week that I've had my radio, actually radios, and uh, got the program uh, a week this coming Wednesday.
that's awesome same here uh, I've been into it for about a week and uh, I really like it I love the audio quality um, and the range on the repeater here in Austin is just tremendous I, I drove out of town yesterday about 45 50 miles and still had uh, good solid uh, clear audio signals both ways and was extremely surprised at the uh, the range and the clarity of these things um, I got the uh, Motorola XPR 4550 mobile and uh, had it at the house for a couple of days and really liked it so I went ahead and mounted it in the car yesterday and uh, been playing with it for a couple of days in the car and uh, like I say I'm, I'm really surprised with the quality of the audio signal and the range that I'm getting out of it so uh, I guess I'll be in here quite a bit and uh, hopefully there'll be more hams involved in it uh, in the future and we'll, we'll really get this thing rolling I know it's rolling crazy right right now um, but uh, here locally in Austin the repeater just went up I guess a couple of weeks back and so I'm hoping there's gonna be a lot more people locally over yeah um I love it. I've actually been playing with this more than I have been on analog since I got it. Uh, I've got the uh, two handhelds. Uh, one is the Motorola uh, XPR 7550, and I also have the X, uh, SL 7550 Motorola. One of the local hams here that's involved with getting the uh, turbo repeater up and running uh, has spiked my interest in the uh, 7550 and uh, the XPR 7550 and I'm really seriously thinking about getting one. Uh, he pointed me at a, a ham retailer that has some for really decent uh, prices uh, as far as Motorola radios go. And so the question I have for you is um, the quality construction of that radio and, uh, you know, its performance. Are you pleased with the XPR 7550? I'm, I'm very pleased with it. Uh, you know, it's a dual radio and, uh, yeah, it, it's awesome. Um, I also like the, the uh, SL 7550. For the simple fact that it's a nice, small, compact radio, and uh, if I don't want to carry the big one, and uh, I've also got some profanes, so if I want to uh, carry a profane with me, and uh, the uh, SL 7550, they're both small, compact radios, I can do that with. I'm not real familiar with the SL7550, but is that the one that looks kind of like a cell phone? Yeah, that's the one. And it, it, that one is strictly digital. There's no analog to it at all. But with the XP7550, it's digital plus analog. Correct, correct. Okay, yeah. So I, I, I've seen the uh, SL7550. I've seen photographs of it uh, on the internet. Uh, I don't think I've seen anybody post any YouTube videos uh, about it, but anyhow, uh, I know one of the local hams here has one, and he said that he was going to post some comments on it on one of our local Facebook pages, uh, but he hasn't done that yet. And I know he took a trip I think he took a trip to Las Vegas and a couple of other places, and uh, he said that when he got back, he was going to post some information on what he thought about it, but he hasn't done that yet. So, uh, good deal. Well, anyway, uh, I need to drive off here for just a minute and go uh, do some shopping. So, if you don't mind, I'm apart with you, but I really appreciate you coming back and, and saying hello to me. KB5YZD. Uh, that's uh, done. That's uh, a local ham up here, 
and he does a lot of uh, research and uh, um, he, he's, he's actually one coming into the uh, SOL sleep for 15. Anyhow, I will let you and, uh, I might be on when you get back on, I might not, but uh, if not, it was good talking to you and we'll talk again soon. Again, like I said, thank you so much for the QSO. Uh, I'm going to run into the store for a little bit, and when I get back in here, I'll throw my call out there. If you hear me, give me a ring. Uh, have a good one until then. KB5YZD, clear. Okay, so that was a quick demonstration of Moto Turbo. That guy was in. VE3SBQ will be That guy's in uh, Ontario, Canada, and I'm in Austin, Texas, of course. I'm going through a local repeater here. He's going through a local repeater there, which are connected via the internet uh, uh, to a, uh, a hub network called uh, DMR Mark. And so our audio gets relayed through the internet over to each other's repeaters. Uh, like I said, the audio quality of Moto Turbo is just outstanding.